this is the pollen. To make sure that you have a full cup of corn, the best way is to ensure that it is properly pollinated. Hi and welcome back to my channel. So cod is usually wind pollinated and when it's windy, it shakes off the tassel. The tassel is also the male and then takes shakes off the pollen from the tassel and the pollen touches the silk. The corn silk is the flower. But sometimes because of improper um, spacing or not even knowing how to plant your corn, you may not get a full cup of corn. Let me show you what the pollen looks like when you shake the tassel with your hand. The pollen is the dust falling off the tassel. And the silk is also known as the female part of the corn plant. It is the silk or also known as the ear. So I'm just going around collecting all the pollen that I can get from each tassels. Even if I don't use them up today, there's a second day and there's a third day or the next time I plant corn, the next batch of corn, I always just like to have some pollen stored up somewhere <laughs> for the sake of it. So this is the pollen. That's the pollen. Oh my god, this is it feels really silky. This is so silky. So now let me show you how we're going to use it to pollinate the corn silk so that we can have um, a full cup of corn. So now we come here and we separate this chaff and take some of the pudding. Take some of the pudding. You can also use a brush and just put it right in here. Make sure it touches all this corn silk. Make sure it touches it. And for each one that come out, each new Yesterday this was pollinated, this was hand pollinated. I don't need to hand pollinate them, but just to ensure that um, I get a full cup of corn. I don't do it all the time. I, then when I, have, when I have time on my hands, then I can do it. That's when I get to do it. That way I'm sure that <laughs> no teeth will be missing from that corn. So I just do that at every level. So I have a lot more. I can actually bottle this one and keep. Um, the reason why it's looking, it's supposed to be pure yellow in color, but I think I had some soil in this, in this tray. So next time, please, if you're going to collect pollen like this, make sure you clean whatever thing that you're collecting it with. So. But it doesn't matter, it will still work. Let me pull it in more. So you can also use a brush, just that this method is faster for me and I don't get to waste any pudding. I get to collect it and choose the quantity that I want to collect. This is all more than enough, honestly. So let's do the other one. These were also pollinated yesterday. Um, 
so I've noticed some new silk coming out that's why I feel the need to also pull in it and show you how to do that yourself just make sure you touch every silk with the pull on After pulling this is what I have left. I still have loads of pulling left. So I'm going to keep this. The safest way is to bottle it, I guess, and then keep it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 